All right, I just took my biscuits right out of the package and this comes with eight. I'm placing this right into my greased 13 by nine for this super yummy breakfast recipe. And you can kind of squish them in there because we want to cover that entire bottom of our pan for this. Don't be afraid to get messy. Perfect. And I use the buttery flaky ones. There's also like the buttermilk and a cornbread. But for this recipe, this is one of my favorite biscuits to use. Next, I'm going in with just my traditional pork sausage. And the rounds work best with this recipe because they kind of just go right on top of that yummy biscuit. This is going to be a great family brunch dish or a meal prep as well. And you can kind of work with like if you wanted to do a different like a turkey sausage or a chorizo but these traditional sausage rounds just work perfectly for each portion perfect put that last one on there all right i have about a dozen eggs already cracked and i'm just going to place those right into our casserole dish and you can feel free to use like an egg white or an egg substitute but for me just a good old classic egg for this is delicious. And don't be afraid to get messy once this cooks all out. It's gonna be delicious. I'm gonna be going in next with just some fresh minced garlic. And we're gonna go, we're gonna use that entire thing because garlic is life. We're gonna go in kind of just all over. Perfect. All right, I'm going in next with just my fresh ground pepper all over our casserole dish just like so and a great breakfast seasoning that i love using is paprika it adds a great color and just a hint of kind of not too spicy very mild earthy delicious and look at that color amazing and of course we can't forget our fresh ground salt as well all over our casserole dish for this lovely little brunch recipe and then the last one I'm going to go in with is just some fresh onion powder as well. And again, all over that entire casserole dish, just like so. Beautiful. And to finish off this dish, we cannot forget triple cheddar blend. And I love the farmhouse shredded. It's kind of that big shred and it just melts so amazing. It's perfect for this recipe. My family loves when I show up to brunch on Sundays with this. It's a classic. Can't go wrong. All right, now that we have that all ready, I'm just gonna spread that out, make sure everything is evenly distributed. All right, and I'm gonna place this in the oven for about 20, 25 minutes at 400 degrees. All right, as you saw there, I am cutting a small little boat into our little baguettes here. And just like that, I have those all prepared. My next ingredient that I'm gonna go in with is a four cheese blend single. And we're actually just gonna cover what we just did with a little piece of cheese right in the middle there. See how amazing that looks? Another four cheese right down here. Oh, and it's just gonna melt so amazing once we place this in the oven. This four cheese blend is one of my favorites. You can use whatever cheese you'd like. This is just what I felt would fit best for this recipe. And as you can see, I'm just kind of placing it in there and just kind of hugging that baguette. And we have one more cheese that we're going to be adding, that spicy pepper jack right on top of our blend. And we're just gonna place it just how we did the other cheese for an extra little kick on our recipe this morning. Oh, and just mold that right in. I love a good pepper jack, just adds a little bit of spice. And I'm actually gonna just break this up and put it right on the side so we have an even layer of that spicy, delicious cheese. And again, I'm just going in right over that cheese. You can feel free to use whichever cheese you like. And I'm just gonna cover all of those little sides to make sure I get that ooey, gooey, amazing cheese. Next, I'm going to come in with our shredded hash browns. The Simply Potatoes are my favorite because they already come pre-softened. They're not a frozen blend, which I love working with with this recipe. And we're gonna go pretty heavy, just right on top 
of that cheese blend. And don't be afraid to get messy. This is definitely one of those recipes you should not be afraid to go messy with. The cheese will be all melty all over those hash browns and pack it in real tight. This is gonna be a great little meal prep or uh, just a family breakfast, super, super simple, perfect. The next thing I'm gonna go in with is I'm gonna go in with my fresh salsa. I love the pico de gallo. Um, you can feel free to use like a green salsa or a mild, a medium, but look at that color contrast on there. Oh, so delicious. Just adds a little bit of freshness onto that gooey, gooey cheese. And those hash browns are gonna crisp up so nice underneath there. Oh, beautiful. And then I'm going in with bacon. Who doesn't love bacon with their breakfast? I'm just gonna pack it in right on top there. Oh, yummy. And some of the bigger ones, we could even do two slices of bacon on there. Oh, and I've already pre-cooked this just a touch, so that way we can get some of that grease out, but also some of that grease will come back and kind of just form right all over that cheese. Oh, delicious. All right, now for our final ingredient. I already have a couple of eggs cracked and I'm just gonna plop it right on top. Oh my gosh, look at how delicious that is gonna be. And perfect, just right on top of our little breakfast boats. We have one last one. Oh my gosh, look at how amazing that looks. Next, to top this off, I'm gonna grab my salt and pepper and I'm just gonna go all over that freshly cracked egg on each of one of our breakfast boats. Oh my gosh, my mouth is watering. I'm gonna go in with my fresh brown pepper as well, straight on top of all of our delicious toppings. Oh my goodness, look at that. Now I'm gonna go in the oven for about 15, 20 minutes at 350. All right, I took about eight croissants and I'm just cutting them up and placing them into my grease 13 by nine. I'm next gonna be coming in with our six eggs for this super easy little breakfast recipe. With our eggs, I'm going in with some of our vitamin D milk and just placing a touch of that right into our eggs. And we cannot forget our heavy whipping cream. It's just gonna add that fluffiness that we're looking for for this breakfast recipe. And going in with our seasonings, I have some onion powder. You can also feel free to do white onion if you didn't wanna do the powder. I also have some lovely rosemary leaves. Just a touch of those, cause those are on the stronger side. And then of course we have our garlic salt. You can also feel free to do just salt and pepper or just the garlic powder. Oh, that is going to be delicious. And I'm gonna give this a nice generous stir. All right, now that we have our egg mixture stirred, I'm coming back in with our croissants. And what we're gonna be doing is I'm just gonna be dumping that egg mixture right over our croissants and making sure that those are all evenly coated with that egg and milk and seasoning. Ooh, perfect. All right, we're gonna give this a nice little stir. Like I said, we wanna make sure that all of that is coated and moist. We don't want anybody upset that their croissant wasn't coated. Oh, yummy. All right, and we wanna kind of leave those with some of our little breaks in between, but that is perfect. All right, and we are going to top our croissants with our honey deli ham. And we're gonna just take those, and it's good to use kind of the deli ham because you'll see like it's nice and thin, which is perfect for this recipe. And I'm going in with that ham, and we are just gonna start to tuck that ham in between our little croissants, just like so. You can also feel free to do like a turkey, or a bacon, or even a turkey bacon. Ooh, but that little deli ham just is so gorgeous with our croissants. And kind of just be abstract with it. It's gonna crisp up really, really nicely. Right, and kind of see how those are giving like little flower decorations. They look so beautiful. And the best combination with ham is some lovely Swiss. So I have a block of Swiss cheese that I've cut and I'm just gonna start popping those 
right in between our croissants and our ham for this yummy breakfast casserole. Ooh, my mouth is watering. And you can feel free to kind of use whatever cheese and meat with this. That's the great part about this recipe. But ham and Swiss is just a great classic combination. All right, we're placing our last little bit of Swiss cheese right next to our little croissants. And we're gonna add a little bit of greenery. So I'm gonna go in with just some of our chives. You could also do like a parsley, but I think those chives, oh my gosh, the color on that is just gonna add an extra layer of freshness. Super, super beautiful. And we are ready to pop this in the oven for about 40 minutes at 350. All right, I have my big crescent rolls down. I'm next going in with our little smokies and I'm just placing those right at the top portion of our crescent rolls for this super simple little breakfast recipe. Ooh, almost lost that one. <laughs> And you can feel free to kind of do whatever protein you have. I just had these in the house and I thought they'd be perfect for this recipe. I'm going in next with the Colby Jack cheese and we are just gonna place that Colby Jack onto our crescent roll. I'm a cheese lover, so I'm gonna make sure that those are perfectly coated. Yeah, load the cheese on exactly. there. Exactly, more cheese the better. No one has complained that there was too much cheese. Yeah, I've never heard of that. <laughs> Oh, beautiful. And you can feel free to do any kind of cheese you like. Colby Jack with the red, not red, orange and white is just one of my favorites for breakfast recipes. Beautiful. All right, I'm going in. I have some par-cooked eggs that we're also going to be placing into our little breakfast roll-ups. Yum. Ooh, perfect. And I use about six eggs, so there's about one egg per crescent roll. Oh. I love eggs. Me too. Eggs are hard to be. I'm at egg bites, egg everything, egg crepes in the morning. I'm an egg girl. Ooh, beautiful. All right. Now that we have those all assembled, I'm going to start to give those a nice roll. Make sure we don't lose any of our stuffings. Kind of force that in. And I use the big croissants for this recipe just because we have so many of those ingredients in there. It just holds everything so beautifully. Wow, that's so cool. Look at those. And those are gonna crisp up super, super nice and that cheese is gonna be all melted. Mm. This is gonna be a great addition for like a New Year's Eve brunch. Ooh, perfect. Or even like a meal prep. Super simple, take and bake little roll-ups. All right, beautiful. All right, but we are not done yet. I have just some melted butter here. I'm gonna be placing some of our garlic into our melted butter, just some minced garlic. Oh, my hands are all, and just a touch. Get out of there. Perfect. <laughs> All right, and we are going to grab our little paintbrush and I'm just gonna go over each one of our crescent rolls to give them a buttery flaky crust with that lovely garlic. Oh, that garlic smells so good. I know, good. I know, doesn't it? <laughs> you could also do like a garlic powder or garlic salt, but that minced garlic just crisps up really, really nicely when it's baked. And it's so easy. Exactly, and I feel like everyone has minced garlic at their house, so it's an easy one to add with butter. Oh, beautiful. Okay, these are all ready to go into our oven. We're gonna be placing them in our oven for about 20 minutes at 350. Brunch is served. Look at how amazing this turned out. That melted cheese, that golden brown delicious biscuit. We cannot forget to top our delicious brunch with some Cholula. My favorite hot sauce, Cholula has lovely garlic notes and it's not too spicy. We're just gonna toss that all over. You can hear the sizzle, it smells and tastes, smells and sounds really amazing. All right, I am ready. I don't know about anybody else in my family who's sitting off to the left. We're gonna go right on in and I wanna make sure I grab a big enough piece to get that biscuit, that sausage, that egg. Oh my goodness, look at the layers on that. 
I know, and that sausage is cooked perfectly. I love a good end piece because look at that crust with the cheese. Amazing, the cheese, the egg is cooked amazing. Oh my goodness. All right, we're ready. I don't know about anybody else, but I'm ready. I'm just gonna go right in. I love a good cheese crust, so we're gonna go right for that crust portion. It's gonna be hot. Oh, that cheese. Oh my God. Biscuits cooked amazing. Cheese on point. Eggs delicious. You have to try this. Oh my goodness. Look at these amazing breakfast boats. Look at how toasty those looks. I am ready to dig in. Oh my gosh, that egg is cooked perfectly. I'm gonna grab that right onto my plate. Oh my gosh, look at how amazing that looks. All right, let's just go for it. Am I right? Oh my God, that is heavenly, so delicious. Look at how delicious our little croissant ham and Swiss casserole turned out. All of our cheese is perfectly melted. Our ham is totally crispy. And I'm gonna go in for a big helping. It's gonna be super hot, so just be careful. Grab my oven mitt. Oh my goodness, look at that gooey cheese and that ham. It looks absolutely amazing, nice and toasty, piping hot. All right, and we're gonna place that right onto our plate. Ooh, yummy. All right, I am not gonna wait any longer. I'm gonna go right on in, make sure I get some of that croissant and that yummy Swiss cheese and those eggs. Ooh, delicious. Mmm. Mm-hmm. Really good. Hearty, delicious. You gotta try it. All right, our little crescent breakfast rolls are ready. They're nice and crispy. Everything is perfectly cooked. I'm gonna come in with my little serving tray and I'm gonna start to place those right onto our little board. I mean, look at how darling those are. Wow. Super easy, super affordable and delicious. It's but amazing. I know breakfast is not complete without, I have some maple syrup here, delicious. Just to add a touch of sweetness. You could also feel free to do like a hot sauce if you wanted or like a sour cream. Ooh. But I just think that maple syrup is just gonna really bring, bring it everything. together. Exactly, exactly. All right, I'm gonna go in. I think we're just gonna go in and give it a try. Mmm. Mmm. Really, really good. Mm-hmm. 